Let's try an example. In the game of craps, there's a bet called Yo. Yo is where you will win if the shooter rolls an 11. On an $8 bet, you will win. You have a net gain of $120. You will get back the $8 you bet, but you will gain $120. The probability of winning is 1 18th, what you expect to win in the long run. If the probability of winning is 1 18th, then the probability of losing is 17 18ths. You win $120 and you lose $8. Let's summarize this in a table. So let's look at the events that can happen. You can lose, or you can win. By win, we mean net gain. Let's look at what those events get you. We'll call that X. X is your winnings. If you lose, then that means it goes away from you. Things that go away from you are negative, so you lose $8, which gives you an X of negative 8. If you win, you're going to gain $120. Now let's look at the probability of each of those winnings. The probability of losing was 17 eighteenths. The probability of winning was 1 eighteenth. To find the expected value, you just need to take the winnings times the probability of winning. So take negative 8 times 17 eighteenths, which gives you negative $7.56. The win, you can take 120 times 1 18th, which gives you a positive $667. That gives you a total of negative 89 cents. The expected value is 89 cents. For every $8 bet, you expect to lose 89 cents. Let's do another example. Suppose in the same game of craps, you instead place an $8 bet on the pass line, which is betting on the shooter to win. The probability of winning is 244 to 495. What do you expect in the long run? If the probability of winning is 244 to 495, then the probability of losing is 251 to 495. If you bet $8 on the pass line and win, you are given $16. You win $8 and you receive your original bet of $8. So your net gain is $8. Again, let's put this in a table. So we'll look at the events. Again, you can lose. Or you can win. And again, that win is the net gain. Your winnings, if you lose, you lose the $8 you bet. So again, it's negative because it's going away from you. And if you win, you gain $8. You get the $8 back, but you gain another 8 The probability of each of those winnings probability of losing is 251 to 495. The probability of winning is 244 to 495. Again, you're going to take x times p of x to find your expected value. So negative 8 times 249 over 495 sorry, 251 over 495 is negative four dollars and six cents and eight times 244 over 495 is, po is positive three dollars and ninety four cents. That gives you a total of negative twelve cents. So now the question is which of the bets is better 
Given that you will lose less on the pass line bet, it is better to do the bet, that bet, even though you will win a greater amount of money on the yo bet. In the long run, you will actually lose more money on the yo bet.